Next, we're in family court in Las Vegas, Nevada. 26-year-old Monica Contreras is here to vacate a temporary restraining order filed against her by her estranged husband. The routine hearing lasts just a few minutes, and Contreras' two-year-old daughter joins her just off camera. So I'm just going to close the case out and dissolve the order. All right, thank you. Okay. But before Contreras is able to leave, courtroom marshal Ron Fox takes her to another room to perform a drug search while her daughter plays with hearing master Patricia Doninger on the bench. <laughs> Moments later, Contreras is back in the courtroom. But there's a problem. She begins telling the other courtroom marshal that she wasn't comfortable with how the drug search was performed. Still searching Contreras' purse, Marshal Fox doesn't like what he's hearing. Okay, so the store stands, handcuffed. Why you bring would I her be in? Handcuffed? Why would I be arrested? Hold on. For what, sir? Hold on. Okay, well, why would I be arrested? Can you please tell me? Can you please tell me? Turn around, put your hands behind Can you back. please tell me? Turn around, put your hands behind Because of false back. allegations made against a police officer, so. What? Making a false allegation against a police officer? In this context, that wouldn't even be a crime in Clark County. For what? Turn around. Hearing master Patricia Doninger turns her back on the situation. Please tell Turn me. Around, put your hands behind Can you back. please tell me? Then, without getting any further explanation of the charges, she asked to have Contreras' daughter removed from the courtroom. Can we do something with the little okay, girl? Okay, you them. If you could call I'm up Child Haven, Haven for me. Child Haven is the county's child protective services facility. In just a matter of minutes, Contreras went from appearing at a routine court hearing to getting arrested and now having her daughter taken away from her. You're saying okay, it. Do not turn around. I will oh, also have you stop it. Okay. Stop. What did yeah, I do to no. you? Oh, oh, no. 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 Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I don't want to push charges. I don't want to kill anyone. I just wanted to end. Uh, Jimmy, I got caught. I just have to do this, so... Arrest her. I take a kid. Why, We're done. why would you do that, sir? Because you're making I'm false allegations. I'm not making false allegations, officer. Why would you put me in this position? I'm a good person. No, I don't want to deal with this, please. I just want to end it. I, okay, it was all lies. It was all lies. It was all lies. It was all lies. Let me go on. So why would you be arresting on, me on right record, now? On record, on tape. In the courtroom. I don't. Up, I just want to go home, please. Miss, I just want to go home, table. please. Sounds like Contreras is going to recant her statement about the marshal's inappropriate handling of the drug search. Or maybe not. That's what happened. You, you, told, you put me in the room and you asked me to lift up my shirt without it without a witness. You asked me to lift you asked me to lift my shirt without a witness. As she's handcuffed in front of her young daughter, Contreras singles out hearing master Doninger for seemingly ignoring her pleas for help. How could you do this to me? How could you watch? How could you watch? You asked me to pull up my shirt and leave me alone. I don't want to go to jail. I'm just trying to defend myself. He said, can, can you please pull up your shirt without a witness? He said, can you please pull up your shirt without a witness? Contreras is taken to jail, formally charged with providing false information to a police officer and disturbing the peace. Her daughter's turned over to special services until the girl's father picked her up later that day. Two months after the incident, Contreras filed a complaint against Marshal Fox, claiming that in addition to improper protocol, the officer also groped her breast and buttocks during the drug search. An investigation by Clark County Internal Affairs would validate her claims. She was later awarded $200,000 in a court settlement. As for those responsible for the courtroom injustice, the perpetrator, Marshal Ron Fox, was fired immediately following the investigation. Marshal James Kenyon was later relieved of his duties, and hearing master Patricia Doninger 
was out two years later after the video went public. Thanks for being a fan of CourtCam. Subscribe to a and &E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.